Sandhya and uh, I'm a divorcee and I have a 15 year old son whom I've practically raised single handedly. I think it's a personal choice and I think if there are willing parties on both sides who know exactly what is in store, what can be expected and what the consequences are, I think it's left to the person's choice. Like in this day and age, you find girls who are like in their 20s having so many problems because of the kind of work life, because of irregular hours and stuff like that. So, so many of them are actually having problem to have children. So if they have a problem, why not? Why not allow someone else to carry your child? See, anything can be misused by anybody. There are so many loopholes in every system so I think it's best that yes, take into consideration every possible scenario and set the laws in such a way that the loopholes are minimized. Sathvik, and I'm an illustrator and make comics. I'm not married and I don't think I'll have kids ever. Commercial surrogacy is very debatable because you're asking someone to do a really difficult activity at great risk to their lives for a sum of money. But then if you look at it that way, there are several other jobs that demand the same things of people. I think having something like commercial surrogacy legalized, especially in like a country like India, where our checks and balances are very poor already, can just lead to all kind of illegal criminal activity that is dangerous to everyone involved. For various reasons of my own, I would probably support a bill that would criminalize commercial surrogacy. My name is Yogesh. I'm uh, 30 years old. I'm married for close to four years now. I think it's a very personal choice. The reason why surrogacy is at question today is are the people profiting from it, you know, due to completely unethical means, uh, or probably practicing something else entirely and calling it a surrogacy agency. I mean, we obviously know in India there are there are cases where siblings adopt their uh, siblings' kids, and when they come of age, this really creates a rift between between two brothers who actually made such a huge decision in their lives and this I've seen personally. So I'm Mansi, I'm a researcher and I think the thing is that it's going to happen regardless of whether it's legal or not and India's had the biggest red market in the world for a long time. When you legalize something like surrogacy, it just promotes fertility tourism in India. The issue also is the scales of money that we're talking about. So for example, in India, a woman who's a surrogate would be locked up pretty much for the entire period of her surrogacy and made to live in like very basic residential quarters and paid say like five to six thousand dollars for the entire period. Whereas the same thing in America would cost about $50,000 to $100,000. There's a huge gap in the pay scale and so when a lot of this data is hidden and when a lot of these laws are easy to flout and these red markets go unchecked, then that makes for something like surrogacy really questionable in India. So what we need is open data and fair pricing schemes.